question is, what is a menomina? The question is, who cares? <laughs> hey, she just vanished. How did she do that? Probably like this. <gasps> yep, that's probably how she did it. That's one of the reasons I always thought the Muppets were weird. Hmm. Well, Why is that? They think explosions are funny. Uh, yes. Explosions aren't funny. <laughs> Only some of them are really quite droll. <laughs> hey, Waldorf, I was wondering if maybe you... Darn, I better get some new batteries for my hearing aid. <laughs> I pull them every time! <laughs> uh, what do you think? Beat sitting home watching television? Mano, mano. I love it, I love it. Hmm. Of course he loves it. He's the kind of guy who plants poison ivy. <laughs> oh, how funny. I remember being a teenager in love. Yeah, but Queen Victoria wouldn't have you. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get close to Connie Stevens, but I'm too close to something else. Now, what's that? 90. <laughs> Do you think this show was educational? Yes, it'll drive people to read books. Well, the show is speeding along very quickly this evening. Oh, yes. Someone must have told him it's harder to hit a moving target. <laughs> Another star in the tradition of the late, great Boris Klinger. Boris Klinger? Mm. Why, you old fool. Boris Klinger was the worst music hall act to ever step onto the stage. In your opinion, maybe, but more than 2,000 people attended his final performance. Yes, yes. Half of them brought the tar and the rest brought the feathers. <laughs> Go with my foot. Why, that young man is one of the all-time greats. You hear me? One of the greats. Well, you'll get no argument from me on that. <laughs> well, it may be the first time we ever agreed on anything in our lives. No. We uh, once agreed in uh, the summer of 1912, yes. <laughs> what was that? We agreed that Kaiser Bill looks silly in a hat. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, he, he did it. He's okay. He certainly did. Uh, what does amoeba mean, anyway? I don't know. I don't live around here, either. <laughs> more, more. No, not so loud. They may hear you. <laughs> I think I'll go stretch my legs. I'd do it for you. <laughs> Wonderful. Marvelous. That you should care for me. Huh? Hmm? What did we just do? His act. Well, we've never been funnier. <laughs> did you like the show? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> Speaking of lunch, I wonder what the Swedish chef has up his sleeve. A summons from the Board of Health, I wager. <laughs> yes, that, that Miss Moreno is easy on the eyes, but hard on the ears. Yes, in fact, I just got a concussion from that discussion. <laughs> yes. Well, uh -huh. I still couldn't find the chewing gum. Oh, they don't write the old songs anymore. Yep. They only write new ones. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you that Jim Neighbors is a real good sport, a real good singer. I, I used to live next door to him. He was a real good neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's halftime. It is? Yeah. What's the score? Well, up at six, audience, nothing. <laughs> Why did we laugh at that terrible joke? Well, either we're getting soft or we're in the first stages of senility. Pay up. They made it through another one. Uh, double or nothing next week's show. You're on. Well, they really brought down the house. Well, at least the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Why, wake me when the show starts. It's already been on a while. Uh, wake me when it's over. I loved it. So what? You also loved World War II. Oh, encore! Bravo! Encore! <laughs> He's a credit to his race. What race is that? The 100-yard dash. <laughs> Science, huh? They can put a man on the moon. Yeah, yeah but they can't put a moon on a man. <laughs> yeah, this show is good for what ails me. Yeah. Well, what ails you? Insomnia. You know, I love French singers. I love French fries. French fries? I don't get that. 
Well, you didn't order any. Well, I love the French tongue. I love pig's tongue. Pig's tongue, I don't get it. Yep, I know. You, you didn't, didn't order, order it. Any. <laughs> Maybe we ought to go on the stage. Yes, there's one leaving in five minutes. Be under it. <laughs> oh, heckle me, you old fool. Heckle him. Is that a toupee you're wearing, or did your cat die? No, <laughs> 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 Well, I really like this show tonight. At these prices, who's going to complain? <laughs> well, that's better than opening it with a bang. <laughs> Did somebody say bang? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, you can't win them all. <laughs> well, that was a great number. I've always liked pantomime. That wasn't pantomime. Your hearing aid's busted again. You know what? Yeah, you can get quite an education watching this show. Are we watching the same show? <laughs> well, to me, there's nothing funny about chickens. <laughs> well, the show tonight certainly didn't lay an egg. Want a bet? Well, that kind of act only comes once in a lifetime. If you're lucky. <laughs> well, I could listen to her sing till the end of time. Well, she doesn't sing that. Not her style. No. Oh, no, no, I mean I could listen to her sing forever. Well, she doesn't sing that either. Why don't you just check yourself into the old fool's home while I still have a bed left? Arthur! Arthur! Is he here? Hmm? Who? Arthur. Oh, go back to sleep. <laughs> they say music hath charm to soothe the savage beast. Mm. Such is not the case here, however. <laughs> Get him. Get him. A masterful performance. Mm, reminiscent of the late Rudolf Besser. Rudolf Besser is dead? No, he's late. Uh, he was supposed to be here at home. Stadler, mm? you always get me with that same dumb joke. Well, maybe it's not the joke that's dumb. If you catch my drift. <laughs> what are you looking for? My contact lens. Oh, oh here it is. Sorry. <laughs> well, they did improve the level of television entertainment. Well, they had no place to go but up. Well, now I've seen everything. Good. Can we leave? Oh, brilliant! Oh, there aren't many performers that could hold a candle to Bruce Forsyth. Of course not. They'd burn him. <laughs> Sadler, you must be the old fool there's no fool like. That Miss Piggy takes umbrage at the slightest annoyance. Oh, I usually take aspirin. Maybe I'll try some umbrage. This show brought a tear to my eye. Really? Yeah, I'm sitting on a tack. Did somebody say bang? Uh, no. <laughs> I've always wondered what the show looked like from up here. In any event, let's start off the show with a musical number that was staged by our own gopher scooter. It could be a bomb, but... Uh... Did somebody say bomb? Oh, no. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Wonderful. Fantastic. Tremendous. Yeah, you know, she makes me feel like a young boy. <laughs> yeah, she makes me feel like a young girl. I think I'll go find one. <laughs> hey, my wife loves children, but I can't bear them. <laughs> We got three kids, one of each. Ah. Oh, I'm rolling now. I'm on the roll. I'm on the roll. Yeah, well, why don't you butter yourself and slip on out of here? <laughs> well, how'd you like the show? Yeah, maybe I'm getting soft, but I loved it. Have a banana. <laughs> I think I ought to see a doctor. Well, why do you say that? I'm beginning to like the show. <laughs> I was just thinking, uh, apropos of nothing, but is it pronounced tomato or tomato? Is what pronounced tomato or tomato? <laughs> yeah, funny man. He was great as a team. Mm. I wonder what it feels like to work alone. Well, ask me. I do it every week. <laughs> well, you gotta give him credit. Why is that? Well, they're gonna keep on doing it till they get it right. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. I'm beginning to like this show. Uh, really? Yep, it's really starting to grab me. Hmm. Oh, something's starting to grab you. <laughs> well, 
Time for a tea break. All right. <laughs> Literal chap, isn't he? I think the guests that come on this show should get combat pay. What about us? Well, we're volunteers. Maybe you are. I was drafted into this chicken outfit. Fantastic show. Brilliant show. By the way, your pants are on fire. Hmm? Oh! <laughs> bravo! Oh, bravo! Wonderful! Just wonderful! How would you know? You're not even facing the stage. Why did you have to tell me I was having such a good time? That was fantastic. What a performer she is. Mm, what's her secret? What's her magic? What's her name? You've forgotten too, huh? Well, whoever she is, she's every bit as funny as Phyllis Tiller. <laughs> Who is? Well, I forget. <laughs> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Why, you old fool. What? I'm not your son and my name's not Shine. <laughs> He calls me an old fool. I loved it. Oh, I hate it! Oh, oh, that number scared the pants off me. Are you sure you didn't just forget to put them on again? This is is the most wonderfully scary actor since Thudge McGurk. <laughs> Thudge McGurk. I'll never forget him. His last film was Phantom of the Soap Opera. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, after that, he went berserk. They say he still haunts theaters around the world. <laughs> Three eyes, green hair, mm. long orange horns, and big, long, ugly fangs. Mm. Horrible man, horrible. Ah! <laughs> no! Hey, listen, on your way back up, bring some popcorn. <laughs> With butter. <laughs> Well, that's easy for you to say. This show should be reported to the Consumer Protection Agency. Mm, why? The host was just consumed. <laughs> uh, don't count on it. Hey, this is our box, fella. Let me see your ticket stub. Was that a great number? I don't know. I slept through it. Uh, me too. That's why I asked. <laughs> Twiggy, make my heart sing. Yeah, well, well let me hear. Hmm? Uh, nice song. But your pacemaker needs tuning. <laughs> oh, I think that was great, right, Stadler? St Stadler, you fell. No, my upper plate fell. I jumped after it. <laughs> well, every week this show looks better to me. Every week your eyesight gets worse. <laughs> song had a nice beat. No, no, I don't want to eat. I said, beat, beat, you old fool. Why don't you turn up your hearing aid? There's gonna be a raid. Well, let's get out of here. I give up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I remember Ethel Merman in the opening of Panama Hattie. You're old enough to remember Teddy Roosevelt in the opening of the Panama Canal. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, she and Kermit make a nice pair. Well, she certainly is a peach. <laughs> I wonder why I'm so itchy. Maybe the show is starting to get under your skin. Oh. Encore! Encore! Hey, you're not so loud. They may hear you. <laughs> well, I could watch Kay Ballard all night. Mm, I tried it once, but she pulled the shade down. <laughs> yeah, you dirty old man. <laughs> Hi. Howdy. I'd like a haircut. Say, I can believe that. Yeah, cut it real short. The rock group just broke up, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> Check. <laughs> cut it short, back, sides, front, top, bottom, and middle. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah, I have the feeling this is a running gag. Yes, but it's the audience that should be doing the running. <laughs> Well, you sure are slow. Yeah. All in due time. By the way, who cut your hair? The gardener? <laughs> well, there you go, sir. That'll be three dollars. <laughs> oh, rats. I think I've just lost a customer. 
Genius! Genius! Author! Author! A work of art! Brilliant! Uh, what, what was that about? That was about a uh, minute and a half. <laughs> Fantastic! Incredible! They remind me of puppets. Mm. Puppets? I've always hated puppets. <laughs> uh, you're a traitor to your class. What class? I never even graduated. <laughs> Can't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> bravo! Bravo! What are you bravoing about? That performance. It was first rate. Yes, it was good. But only one act I've ever seen deserved a bravo. Oh, really? Who was that? Lady Beth McIntosh and her singing parakeets. <laughs> I'll never forget her closing night at the palace. What happened? Well, she fell into a box of bird seed just before going on stage, and she was pecked to death by the parakeets. <laughs> it's a hard act to follow. Yeah, well, I was there and I cried. Really? What did you cry? Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> that was a funny show. Yes, it was. I wonder if they meant it that way. <laughs> hey, what a beautiful performer. Yeah, what a beautiful woman. You know, Waldorf, hmm. I think I'll go backstage and meet her. Why, you old fool, she wouldn't have anything to do with you. Besides, I was thinking of going backstage. You? You, why, you're old enough to be her grandfather. Hey, you geriatric joker. We'll settle this, we'll flip for her. Okay. One, two, three. Hey. Oh. You win. Just think, that old fool Statler is getting a chance to meet Miss Harper backstage. Just because he could do a flip. But I bet he can't do this. <laughs> hey, sometimes I tickle myself. In fact, I think I'll tickle myself now. <laughs> I was practicing my flip. Help! <laughs> you know, I'm really gonna enjoy it tonight. You plan to like this show? No, I plan to watch television. What is it? It's a curtain. Stand by for makeup. Stand by for what? Hey.